What's up, everybody? This is your boy Murdy 3K, aka M3K Tactical. There is nothing tactical about me. Today, we are talking about my range day prep. Remember, I said my range day prep and not yours. Some of you guys that are uh, have been in the community for a while probably have a very strong routine, and I could probably learn something from you. But this is my very basic range day prep that starts with a range bag. Uh, even though I have a, a rifle case that can that has ample storage, I find just some things that are just a little less cumbersome if I just put them in a range bag. You can use that range bag for a lot of things too, for uh, like a rest to just get a good balancing um, platform if you are doing some zeroing. It, it comes in very handy. So this is just a basic sling pack, um, what they call range bag really. It is what it is. Nothing too fancy. I've done a video on this one. If you want to see that video, it will be right about there. You can click on that link and it'll take you to it. But that's the first thing I make sure I have. Not a necessity if you have a rifle case that has ample storage, but this is just what I like to use. With that being said, let's get this out of the way and move on to some of the other items I use in my range prep routine. So the first thing I do, I safety first, I always make sure I have a set of ears and a set of eyes. There you go. And the one thing about ears and eyes is for ears, you don't want to skip. You really don't want to be too horrible with your eyes either, but it doesn't take a lot, to be honest with you guys, to protect those eyes. As a matter of fact, Dollar Tree has a great set of eye protection that I argue is a bit better than this for the reason and the reason I say that is they have a little shelf that goes along here that keeps that brass from actually getting behind the glasses and that's why I really like those Dollar Tree ones and I can't find them I think somebody got me for them uh, with some buddies I was at the range with and they were short of eye protection so I let them use it and I just got to get it back for them or I can just go to Dollar Tree and get them because they're like I, they're only a dollar twenty five is things have gone up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, with your ear protection, I got these walkers. These are those little walker slims. They do a great job of uh, killing sound while you're still able to hear. They're basically noise counseling. You can still hear everything going around you where you're safe. You can talk to your friends at the range. Uh, it actually amplifies that sound, but when those loud, loud bangs come in, it kills it and it uh, makes that shooting time that much more fun and it protects your hearing i've seen few people try with these earbuds not shooting earbuds but they're noise counseling earbuds they really weren't made for that and if you have a good pair that work you know what more power to you but i just wouldn't risk my hearing for something that wasn't made for it but if you do have a alternate solution put it in the comments below i'd love to hear about it <clears throat> let's get this out the way so those are the very minimum things that you probably should have in your range bag or your rifle bag. Depending on what range you go to, and I'm talking indoor ranges mainly, but uh, usually you might want a chamber flag for your rifle if you are shooting rifle. If um, that's, that's what I'm usually shooting is my a, a things on the AR platform. So I'm not a big pistol guy, but I'm uh, going to start doing more pistol stuff. So got your chamber flag. <clears throat> depending on how much you're shooting and what you're shooting i always keep a pair of, i seldom ever use these but i keep a pair of gloves in my range bag just in case whatever i'm shooting gets hot and uh, just gloves add a little bit more protection i do uh, i utilize that for my optic i always make sure i have whatever tool is necessary for uh, keeping that zeroed uh, for the hollow sun you get this little piece the little paracord doesn't come with it i added that because it clips on a little carabiner inside my bag. But whatever tool you need to keep your sight zeroed, keep that in your range bag or your rifle case as well. Now, up until recently, oh, and I always keep a little cloth. I don't keep oil or anything else like that because I clean my rifles religiously. I clean um, when I come back from the range and I check them before I head out and just to make sure I didn't forget to clean them. So I never found it necessarily necessary to bring oil or cleaning supplies other than a maybe a microfiber cloth or some cut up t-shirts in my range bag. And I usually get these. Again, you get these at Dollar Tree all day long. And I just keep a few in my range bag. 
Earlier, we talked about the uh, safety glasses and how I like the Dollar Tree safety glasses because they have a little shelf over the rim that keeps the brass from getting into your eyes. Now, regular safety glasses, sometimes they, have, they don't have that. And if you don't have safety glasses that prevent the brass from getting behind the lens, you might want to wear a build cap. And that prevents brass from popping, hitting you in the glasses and getting behind your, um, your lens and burning your eye. And so that's that. Another thing I, use, I will bring in my bag is a small tool kit, one preferably with roll pin punches. And the reason being, especially when I'm using the EPC-9, I've had the, um, the trigger pins and the um, hammer pin walk out on me, and I didn't have my set with me. And I probably could have asked the gunsmith at the range, but it, I'd been there for a while, and I just said, you know what, I'm just going to wrap it on up. And uh, it was just at a point where I couldn't finagle it back in. I needed a punch to really work it. And so from that point, I have this small little kit that fits right in my bag. It has everything I need, and I just load that up. And I have that with me. Let's see what else I usually bring. I always bring a uh, set of hex wrenches. You don't have to have a set that looks like this. I got this. This is those uh, hyper tough ones you get at Walmart. You can get whatever set you want. It has the T wrenches, the Allen wrenches, and the uh, the different hex wrenches you have there. And another thing, and this is um, is this little thing from again. This is when I'm dealing with my EPC nine, and uh, they have speed loaders for uh, your 300 blackout, your ARs, your AKs, whatever you might be working with. But I always bring my uh, speed loader, especially for my pistol calibers, because those things wear your fingers out. I can load a, uh, a AR mag fast and with no problems, but those pistol caliber mags, uh, especially new ones, man, those wear my fingers out. So I love, uh, somebody referred to this thing as a stamp loader, and it really is. It uh, The speed is, isn't so much about speed, but as much as about convenience. It just really help save your fingers and get you a little better, fa faster time to, uh, especially if you're at a range where the clock's ticking, these things can't be beat. And the last thing I do is of course I bring ammo. Now depending on how much I'm gonna be shooting, if I'm gonna be shooting like not too much, just a few rounds here and there between various weapons, I'll just bring a few boxes of whatever I'm shooting. Usually just a couple boxes I can throw them in the bag. Now, if it's going to be an extended day, I will not put a whole bunch of boxes, but I'll get the same style ammo, and I usually buy the same type for whatever I'm using, whether it be the 300 Blackout or my EPC-9. And if you can, I'll use it like this ammo can. I'll just load it up with these things. And this one is one of these things I got at Walmart. It's uh, if you go to the sporting goods section, you'll find they have those green plastic ammo cans. If you go right around the corner to the hardware section, they have uh, these neat utility storage containers in black or translucent. Kind of a neat little look. If you want a little different look when you're going to the range, this is a neat one for you. And guys, that is basically it. I mean, again, you guys do you. I just thought if you didn't know and you needed somewhere to start, this video was uh, here to serve, serve that purpose, and I hope it did. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep on watching, like and subscribe, and live the dream.